overflows. Love can give a new soul to sex. Love can give a new soul to sex. Each listens to these overflows in his own way. But you can listen to these without thinking and if as if in deep love, heart to heart, not in any way, but realizing what I am saying or judging what I am saying, right or wrong. No, no evaluation. You simply listen in deep love as if the mind has paused and the heart listens and beats with a joy. I say, then the unconscious is listening, then whatsoever I am saying will go very deep to your roots. With such kind of listening, the process of transformation begins. But there is another possibility. You can listen through the superconscious. Then even love is a disturbance, very subtle. But even love is disturbance. Then there is nothing, no thought, no feeling. You simply become a void, an emptiness, end to end. And into that emptiness falls whatsoever I say and whatsoever I am. Then you are listening from the superconscious. This is rare. Only a rare one attains to this state. Therefore, always listen in deep love. You will experience something that you cannot experience otherwise. Love can give you, love can give a new soul, a new meaning to sex. Then sex is transfigured, it becomes beautiful. Then it is no longer sex, instead it has something of the beyond in it. It has become a bridge. You can love a person because the person satisfies your sex needs. This is not love, just a bargain. You can make sex with a person because you love. Then sex follows just like a shadow part of love. Certainly it is not love either. Then it is beautiful, then it is no longer the animal, no longer of the animal world. Then something of the beyond has already entered and if you go on listening, if you go on loving a person, and if you go on loving a person, by and by sex disappears. Intimacy becomes deep fulfilling. And there is no need for sex. Love is enough unto itself. When that moment comes, then there is the possibility of prayerfulness dawning upon you. Then sex bridges love to become prayerfulness. Then sex bridges love to become prayerfulness. When two lovers are in such deep love that love suffices and Sex has simply dropped. Not that it has been dropped, 
not that it has been suppressed no it has simply disappeared from your consciousness not leaving even a scar behind then two lovers are in such great unity like harmonic because sex divides and the very word sex comes from a root which means division love unites sex divides sex is the root cause of all division when you make sex to a person woman or a man you think it unites you for a moment it gives you the illusion of unity and then a vast division suddenly comes in that is why after every sex act a frustration a depression a repentance sets in one feels that one is so far away from the beloved sex divides and when love goes deeper and deeper and unites more and more there is no need for sex your inner energies can meet without sex and you love in such a great unity it can happen that the inner energies of an individual through that union your inner unity inner energies can merge into one another and the inner energies the anima and animus can merge can attain unity on their own as well if you really want to know love forget about love remember about meditation meditation is the process through which anima and animus unite with one another if you want to bring roses into the, your garden forget about roses and take care of the rose bush meditation is the rose bush bush for the blossoming of the lotus of love give nourishment to it water it take care that it gets the right amount of sun and water if everything is taken care of the roses are destined to come come in to blossom at the right time you cannot bring them earlier you cannot force them to open up sooner and you cannot ask the rose flower to be more perfect every rose flower is perfect in its uniqueness so is each person unique in his or her uniqueness dancing in the wind in the sun in the rain can't you see the tremendous beauty the absolute joy and a diff a unique kind of uniqueness a small ordinary rose flower radiates the hidden splendor of the existence then what about the inner splendor of the one who has in whom the lotus of love has blossomed love is a rose flower in your being for rose flower to blossom prepare your being dispel the darkness and the unconsciousness because more and more become more and more alert and aware and love will come of its own accord in its own time in its own way
you need not worry about it and whenever it comes it is always unique only then love becomes a spiritual experience that has nothing to do with sex and nothing to do with bodies but something to do with innermost being but you have not even entered your own temple you do not know at all who you are and you are asking about love first be thyself know yourself and love will become love will come as a reward it is a reward from the beyond it showers on you like flowers as the flowers were showering on subuti when awakening dawned on him and it goes on showering on you it brings with it a tremendous longing to share that sharing can only be indicated in human language as love when flowers blossom to infinite quantum it brings with it tremendous longing to share that sharing can only be indicated in human language as love that sharing is love it does not say much but it indicates the right direction love is the shadow of alertness of consciousness be more conscious and love will come as you become more conscious aware and alert it is a guest that comes that comes inevitably to those who are ready and prepared to receive it and once it comes as a guest it becomes host and then the intense desire to share this experience is love enough for now